Good morning to all in this week. Come to the nine o'clock hour. Here we pause for a moment, mindful and bringing into prayer all those who are ill and, and suffering in these times, most especially those who are uh, under uh, or experiencing COVID-19. So we pause in a moment of prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Friends, it is in the love of God that we gather today, and as we approach, we approach our Lord this day in prayer, we pause for a moment, mindful of the mercy and the forgiveness that he is so ready to extend to each and every one of us. As we pause, asking for this gift of mercy and Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, we pray, that being rightly conformed to the Paschal Mysteries, what we celebrate in joy may protect and save us with perpetual power. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and Presbyters, in agreement with the whole church, decided to choose representatives to, and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Barsabbas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the letter delivered by them. The Apostles and the Presbyters, your brothers, to the brothers in Antioch, Syria, and Sicilia, of Gentile origin, greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number who went out without any mandate from us have upset you with their teachings and disturbed your peace of mind, we have, with one accord, decided to choose representatives and to send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are sending Judas and Silas, who will also convey the same message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place on you any burden beyond these necessities, namely, to abstain from meat sacrificed to idols, from blood, from meats of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free of these, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. And so they were sent on their journey. Upon their arrival in Antioch, they called the assembly together and delivered the letter. When the people read it, they were delighted with the exhortation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. My heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and chant praise. O awake, O my soul, awake, lyre and harp. I will wake the dawn. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give thanks to you among the peoples, O Lord. I will chant your praise among the nations, for your mercy towers to the heavens, and your faithfulness to the skies. Be exalted above the heavens, O God, above all the earth be your glory. I will, I will give, give you thanks, thanks among, among the peoples, O Lord. Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I call you my friends, says the Lord, for I have made known to you all that the Father has told me. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment, 
Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Many of us, I'm sure all of us, have found times in our lives, moments in which we are given an order, we are given an instruction, and we just simply don't want to follow it. We're given a, a direction, an order, a command, whatever it might be, we're given some sort of instruction, and we don't take too kindly to it. We just don't want to carry it out. We want to just run the other way. It might be at work that we are given a command and we just find ourselves not at a good place that day and we just want to push back. We want to, we want to shove back at everything about what we have been told to do. It could be in our, in our families that as all the way from kids to adults, that, that an order is, is requested of us, something is requested of us, and we just find ourselves not wanting to comply with it, not wanting to carry it out. You know, today we find Jesus in the Gospel today offering us this commandment, this greatest commandment, to love one another as I have loved you. And this is the, the command that, that we hear from Jesus this day and, and every day in our lives, to to love one another as Christ has loved us. It's a moment today, I think, for us to consider how it is that that command of Jesus, that greatest command, how does it land with us? How do we receive it? No doubt there's some times of our lives where we, we do a little bit better than others at receiving it, at, at, at carrying it out, at embracing that command. And we realize that it is truly a high command, a high command, something uh, of a tall order for us to love as Christ himself has loved us, the one who came to this world, who, who emptied himself for our own salvation, for our salvation, uh, giving his entire life on the cross for us. That's a high bar for you and me to live up to, no doubt. Yet we know that as Jesus offers us this command, as he gives us this great command to love, it's not as if he does it without offering us his help. But he has given us his own example. He has given us the gift of his grace. That we know that as we seek to carry out this command, as we seek to, as we seek to follow it through in our lives, that he is there with us. That he's not barking out this order from miles away, but rather he is close to us. And he's offering us his presence and his, the power of his grace that we might truly love in our own lives as he has loved us. And so today, as you and I hear this great command, this loving command to love, you and I, may we, may we approach Christ and, and ask him for the grace that we need to live in this way, to love in this way. Love as Christ has loved us, and so in doing so, to bear that wonderful fruit for all to see. We now come to present our needs and our petitions to our loving and merciful Father this day. For the church, the body of Christ, may the Lord continue to guide and sanctify us in his saving work. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer for our public officials. May the strong hand of God assist them in using their talents for the betterment of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from poverty or lack of stable living conditions, may God look graciously upon their needs for food, shelter, and community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all in this faith community, may the love of Christ infuse our hearts and conform us evermore to his ways. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they rest in the eternal arms of God who loves them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. So on this day, at this Mass, that we continue to, to bring forth, to present forth the um, intentions of our Mother's Day Novena for all of our mothers living and deceased, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those prayers and petitions and needs that we hold in the silence of our hearts and now bring before the Lord this day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O Lord, it is your love that brings newness, that brings peace, that brings restoration to our world and to our lives. Guide us in the pattern of your great love through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of your hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to lodge you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. John the Evangelist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now, at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the only one who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
May we join together in this prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you so much for joining us here, everyone. Have a blessed, safe day.